Today I'm going to talk about the seven worst problems of the Red Cat Gen 8 and how to solve them. Interested? Tune in to RC Review. Find out more. Okay, we got the Red Cat Gen 8. We got two of them, in fact, and we loved it. You know, for 300 bucks, it was pretty darn good. But it had these problems problem, problem, problem that were holding it back. We wanted to unleash this vehicle and get it on its own crawling way. So we're here to, to help you understand what these problems are and how to solve them. Luckily, they're not that hard to solve. It's kind of fun, actually. So number one problem, let me get the body out, out of the way. Number one problem, is the famous belly bump. And this kind of sucks. It had a bump here. <laughs> like it was preg prego, pregnant. We've never seen it on any of these other cars. Why did Red Cat all of a sudden think it was okay to do it? Uh, it just gets hung up when you do any technical crawling. So how you solve it is you put some spacers on the transfer case, lift it up, cut the bump, and then put a, a, um, a pan. Uh, flatten it out. Here we put a whole pan to get to the chassis and uh, make it so slippery. We even worked on the sliders too. The sliders are okay, not that great. These are better. Number two problem, the tires and foam are bad. So the tires are super swampers but not very well done. Uh, they have this film on them. Wash the heck out of them by the way like four times. Uh, to get that slippery snot out of it. The foam is a memory foam. Memory foam is what's in your expensive bed and pillow. Uh, you don't want it on the crawler because uh, it rebounds too slow and theirs definitely rebounds too slow, meaning you can't really grip. And in cold weather, it gets hard. So how you solve that is unscrew the bead lock wheels. Lucky they have bead lock, lock wheels so you can reuse them. Unscrew that, take that memory foam out, throw them away. Buy it, 20 bucks for four, you're good to go. Tires too, um, you can change. Uh, Proline Hyrax is what we recommend. Number three problem, the speed is hard to modulate and the steering is limited. So notice when, uh, when you see a video, Red Cat Gen 8, uh, it kind of goes like this. Like 90% of them are like that. And you're like, are these drivers just all terrible? And actually, no. Their transmitter is like a, it's like a $5 transmitter. Uh, the potentiometer is too sensitive. It can't control the car. So it's kind of jerky. So all you need to do is change the transmitter to anything and it will transmit a receiver and it will you'll also be so much smoother. The other thing is the, the, uh, the transmitter doesn't have enough throw for the steering. So if you change that, you get more steering as well. Hard to believe, but it's true. Oh, uh, next uh, problem is blacked out windows. So these are blue painted and they put a sticker on it. It's just so ugly. Um, if it doesn't bother you, then you're good. But if it does, it's easy to solve. You just put some um, uh, nitromethane uh, fuel on it. Just rub it, work on it, mask it. Uh, we'll have a link to the best ways to do it. It's about an hour job, two hours if you're not that good like me. But you'll have clear windows. And then you buff it out to uh, Make it clear, just like your old headlight lenses. Number, where are we? Number five problem is the servo is so slow and so weak. You know, it's a heavy vehicle and it just can't turn the vehicle. So uh, how do you solve that? Get rid of that thing and buy a Savox. If funds are limited, then buy a KG20 or KG23 from Amazon or eBay for 20 bucks. And it's gonna be so much better, stronger and faster. Number six problem is it comes with Velcro, fender on fender, Velcro attached, but it just keeps coming off. And over time, it's just gonna get worse. So how you fix it is you put Ooh. magnets. Oh Super yeah. Super magnets, rare earth oh. magnets, Do to rent. be specific. And you're gonna be dialed. And finally, Number seven problem is perhaps the most serious one. It's the drivetrain is weak. 
So um, the gears are not that strong. It has some plastic gears. Um, and, you know, it, it, um, it's, not, it's not as strong as a, as a Traxxas or an axle. So what I would do here is, luckily, uh, it's, this has been five months since it got introduced. They're now coming with stronger parts for the Red Cat Gen 8. So just buy the stronger parts. Anything metal, gears, just buy it. Um, or have a, have a spare one out there. The good news is the warranty department is quite good. It's much better than most other warranty departments, meaning you just fill up a form online and they'll send you the part. Um, so it's a good one. Uh, and the next thing I'll advise is just don't be too brutal on your vehicle, meaning don't put 3S brushless on it and don't bash it around. It's not like these other vehicles. Um, so, we're, you know, it's, it's be gentle on it, and, and at least until you get all the metal parts. So there's my seven. I have like five more, but I kind of ran rando, uh, random. So <laughs> I'll spare you. I'll spare you guys the uh, the details. But what do you guys think? Any of them make sense? Any have you tried any of them? Can you add an eighth or a ninth that you think will rival my seven? Let us know in the comments. All right. Thanks a ton.